Okay, hello and welcome to another how-to um, tutorial where I teach uh, one specific thing as quickly as I can and as simply as I can um, so that you can just figure out how to get it working and go running with it. So first off, you're going to want to go to your little control panel and go load default. This will allow you to have access to these nodes. Now you set up the specific model that you want, whatever that is, to use Real Vision. And um, I'm just going to fix up this little prompt a little bit so that it is a little bit less annoying to me. And now, in order to make Laura run, it's pretty simple. You can drag out from the model line or the clip line and select Laura loader from the list. If the list doesn't appear to you, double click on the background, type LOR. <laughs> I don't know why the menu is stretched out like that, but. Uh, your yeah, LOR should get you the LoRa loader. Now I'm going to pick one that I know works with this, which is the Biopunk LoRa. And the reason I'm choosing a specific one is because some, some LoRa don't have great results unless they have certain things to work with. And additionally to that, um, you got to make sure that your model matches your LoRa, which means uh, the base model behind both of those things should be the same. Uh, an SDXL model will not function with the Biopunk LoRa that I'm using because it's based on 1.5, which is a different base model. Right, so once you've dragged out the LoRa mode, LoRa node thing, connect the clip up to it. This does not mean it's working. It is ready to start working. Now, I'm going to switch this to fixed to show you what this is actually doing. I'm going to drag out a preview image node as well. And I'll just show you what the prompt normally makes. It's the same thing that you've done before with this thing. Make, make a bottle in a landscape, basically. So as you can see, it has generated the thing. Now, if we plug in the clip where you would expect it to go, which is on the clip text encode uh, it may have no results or it may have some results it's probably going to change the image at least a little bit as you can see it's changed it over a little bit but it's not a huge difference now you know, that might make you think it's not working but you do need to plug in the model as well if you plug in the model it may change drastically this depends of course on the law you're using because some laws will trigger automatically. Um, now this one triggers partially with both are plugged in. So as you can see there's kind of some changes to the art style from the original. There's kind of some more features in here, but uh, in order to make this actually work 100%, you actually need to enter a, um, a trigger word. So I'm going to put that in here, which is biopunk. Yeah. Biopunk. Now, when I add this, it should drastically change the image again. You can see it's made some pretty drastic changes. And that is basically how to get Laura running. Uh, make sure you know the keyword when you get this off of Civitai or you get off Hugging Face. So make sure you got the, the keyword. Make sure that the model and clip are plugged in. Um, there are more advanced ways of doing this with. Uh, plug in these into different things you can have this running off over in a different place on the workflow you know there's all kinds of stuff you can do but essentially this is the basic way of getting it running thank you for watching and hopefully this is useful to you um there will be a more advanced version of this tutorial on i don't know next couple of days thank you for watching